Good afternoon, Red Hat Summit 2018. <laughs> I'm Femi Olade Coombs, founder of Hacker Femo. I started coding when I was eight. When I was nine, I set up South London Raspberry Jam through crowdfunding to share my passion for coding with other young people who might not otherwise be exposed to tech. Since then, I've run hundreds of coding and robot workshops across the UK and globally. In 2017, I was awarded an inaugural Legacy Diana Award by their Royal Highnesses, Prince William and Prince Harry, for my service to the community. We welcome young people who have autism or, like me, Tourette's syndrome, because coding linked me up to a wider community of like-minded people. And I'm trying to do the same for those who might also benefit from this. I also deliver workshops to corporate companies and public organizations whilst feeding back ideas and resources into my community work. We like to cascade our knowledge and experience to other young coders so that they can benefit too. We're learning new tech every day. We're starting to use GitHub to document and manage our coding projects. With Node Red, we're using the terminal and beginning to really appreciate Linux as we explore cybersecurity and blockchain. It's been quite a journey from South London to the world famous Tate Modern Museum to Bangladesh to this, my first trip to the States. and soon to China, where I hope to translate my microbit workshops into Mandarin. On this journey, I've noticed it is increasingly important for young coders to have collaborative and community-led initiatives and enterprise and career-ready skills. So my vision now is to run monthly meetups and in collaboration with business partners, help 100 young disadvantaged people to get jobs in the digital services. In fact, out of all the lessons I've learned from teaching young coders, they all have one thing in common, the power of open source and the importance of developing community. And today, I want to talk about three of those lessons. The value of reaching out and collaborating, the importance of partnering with enterprise, and the ability to self-organize and persist, which translated into English means having a can-do attitude, getting stuff done. When you reach out, when you show curiosity, you realize you're not alone in this diverse community, no matter who you are and where you're from. From coding with Minecraft to meeting other young people at jams, I found there are people like me doing things I like doing. I get to connect with them. That's where open source comes to the fore. Second, the open source community is so vast that it crosses continents. It's so enriched with diverse perspectives that it can take you to amazing places, out of space even. That's my code running on the International Space Station's Columbus module. Let's take a lesson. And playing was an audio representation for the frequencies recorded in space. My team developed Python code to measure and store frequency readings from the space station. And that was downlinked back to Earth to my email box. <laughs> Thomas, who's 10, uh, developed an audio file using Audacity and importing it back into Python. How cool is that? <laughs> Truly, collaboration can take you places you never thought possible, because that's how the community works. When you throw a dilemma, a problem at it, the open source community comes back with answers. When you give, the community gives back tenfold. That's how open source expands. But in that vast starscape, how do you know what to focus on? 
There are so many problems to solve. Where do I start? Your world, enterprise, and enterprise software is very good at solving problems. What's the big problem? How about helping the next generation be ready for the future? I want to do more for the young coding community. So I'm developing entrepreneurial and business links to get that done. This is a way to promote pathways to deal with future business problems, whether in fintech, healthcare, or supply chains, and meeting the skills shortage. It is a case for emerging in, it's a case for investing in emerging communities and young change enablers. Throwing a wider net equates to being fully inclusive with a good representation of diversity. You know, under the shadow of the iconic Shah back in London, there are pockets of deprivation where young people can't even get a job in a supermarket. Many of them are interested in tech in some way. So my goal for the next three years is to encourage young people to become an active part of the coding community. With open source, we have the key to unlock the potential for future innovation and technological development. With young coders, we have the people who have to face these problems. Working on them now, troubleshooting, being creative, connecting with each other, finding a community, and discovering their strengths along the way. For me, after running workshops in the community for a number of years, when I returned from introducing coding to uh, young street kids in Bangladesh, I realized I had skills and experience. So I set up my business, hackafemo.com, with my first monetized Femi's Coding Bootcamp at Rise London Barclays Bank. It was a sellout. And a few weeks later, so is my second. I haven't looked back since. But it works the opposite way too. All the money raised enabled me to buy robots for my community events. And I was able to cascade my enterprise knowledge across to other young coders too. When you focus on business problems, you get active, enthusiastic support from enterprise. And then you can take on anything. The support is great. And we have tons of ideas. But what does it really take to execute on those ideas? to get things done. Can-do attitudes are what open source needs. You've seen it all this week. We're all explorers, ideators, thinkers, and doers. Open source needs people who can make the ideas happen. Get out there and see them through. Like I did, setting up Southland and Raspberry Jab as an inclusive space to collaborate and learn together. And that, that led to organizing the Young Coders Conference. This was about organizing our own two-day event for our partners in industry to show they value young people and wanted to invest in our growth. It doesn't stop there. Oh, no. Now I'm setting up monthly coding meetups and looking at ways to help other young people to access job opportunities in enterprise and digital services. The underlying ethos remains the same in all I do, promoting young people with a desire to explore. Collaborative problem solving, when coding, digital making, and building enterprise. Youth led, having the confidence to define our journey and pathways. Always being inclusive always encouraging innovation and creativity. Being doers does more than get projects done, it makes us a pioneering force in the community. Dreaming and doing is how we will make exponential leaps. My generation is standing on the shoulders of giants. You, the open source pioneers and the technology you all built. So I'd love to hear about your experiences. Who brought you into the open source community? Who taught you? As we go to upscale our efforts, we encounter difficulties. Have you, 
and how did you overcome them? Please do come to talk to me. I'll be in the Open Source Stories booth, both today and tomorrow, giving workshops. Or visit the Red Hat page on my website, hackfemo.com. <laughs> <laughs> I really value your insights. In conclusion, I'd, li I'd like to ask you to challenge yourself. You can do this by supporting young coders. Find the crowdfunding campaign. Kickstart their ideas into reality. I'm proof that it works. It's so awesome to be an active part of the next exponential leap together. Thank you.